All right, y'all, this one's called Times of Noah. I'm White Magic Tiger, the undercover hippie evangelist going into these communities and taking hippies and seeing if they're open into turning into a happy. I'm also known as Brother Timothy. Timothy's a book in the Bible. It translates to honoring God, and it is my birth name. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God, mother, father, creator, with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. Thank you, King Jesus Christ, for helping me to follow these two commandments and purifying me and just helping me stay on that straight and narrow from the bottom of the spine to right here. That's that straight and narrow, y'all. That's a little nugget of wisdom, a little pearl of wisdom. Hopefully I'm not casting any pearls to swine. You know that saying. But it's all in the spine. From, from Muladhara, the perineum, all the way up to here, Ajna Chakra, the sperm when we're born, the tail, the tail of the sperm, that's our spine, the head of the sperm, that's our brain, the egg of, the, of, the, of our mother, that's the rest of our body, the, this point right here, that's the, that's the top point of the sperm, when the, when the sperm hit the egg and it became the zygote, this point right here is what made contact with the egg, right here. And this is where we focus our concentration on the spiritual eye. Jesus taught us about the single eye. Look up that scripture, the single eye, it's right here. This is, this is the luminous epinoia. This is the spiritual light. The spiritual light comes in through here, through the Ajna Chakra, through the medulla oblongata. The medulla, medulla oblongata is like the projector of a movie theater. So when we're at a movie theater, you turn around, you got the projector at the back. That's the medulla oblongata, the Ajna Chakra. And then the, the middle of our brain would be like the movie theater. And then the screen, this is the movie screen right here. So look up at the movie screen. Anyways, that might be for another video. The, the Times of Noah, y'all. Times of Noah. Jesus says uh, in one of the scriptures, he's like, the, the, I believe it's like the coming of man when he's like, when the second coming's coming, the second coming of Christ, Jesus is already here, y'all. He's already here. I can assure you of it. He has been helping me so much. How could he do that? Like, he's, he's here. He's here. He's not coming back, y'all. He's already here. The second coming of Christ is you and me and our brothers and sisters in Christ and Krishna becoming aware that the Christ Krishna is inside of us. It says in the Bible that Christ is in you. It's in here. It's already in us. And it's just becoming aware of that, remembering it. That's the Christ consciousness. But some people get freaked out over Christ consciousness. What does the Christ word mean? It comes from Greek, Christos. It means the anointed one. And it's most likely the dimethyltryptamine that's produced in the brain of the from what I've studied from the pineal gland and the pituitary gland, supposedly the pineal gland produces a golden-like substance and the pituitary gland produces a milky-like substance and that's called the land of milky milk and honey. Now here's a very esoteric truth for y'all. Jesus says you got to enter the bridal chamber. Well, what is the bridal chamber? Where is it in the body? Just like where's the straight and narrow? Where is it? Well, where is this straight and narrow path? Well, I already told you. The straight and narrow path is the spine, from the bottom of the spine up to here very straight and narrow very few people will you find on it can you how many churches have you been into in your life where the pastor's like okay for the next 30 minutes we're gonna we're gonna practice psalms 46 10 be still and know that i am god and focus your energy from the bottom of your spine to right here on the straight and narrow path you can't go to any church pretty much anywhere in the world and they're focusing on the straight and narrow that's found in this temple of course the straight and narrow is inside the temple just like the bridal chamber is inside the body. Where is the bridal chamber? I don't know if you'll be able to see in this video. You see my tongue? This is the bridal chamber. It's sticking your tongue up your throat to touch your brain. So when I just did that right now, I put my tongue at the back of my mouth and up towards my nasal pharynx. And I'm extending my tongue. Eventually my tongue will be able to press on the pituitary gland and it'll be able to secrete the milk and honey from the brain, the dimethyltryptamine. That's why the yogis go on these bliss trips. That's called Kachari Mudra. It's the king of all mudras. Check that one out. It's the king of all mudras. And it's most likely what Jesus was doing 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. 
no food, no water, dry fasting. He was, it's called Amrita. Amrita, look up Amrita, A-M-R-I-T-A. Amrita is the secretion, the sacred secretion. That's most likely what was sustaining him. That's my guess. Because these yogis say when you're, when you're tapping into this Amrita, you, you, don't, you don't hunger or thirst anymore. And the body can either run on a wet battery or on a dry battery. From my studies, I don't know from personal experience, but these breatharians, they're proving that the body can run on a dry battery where they don't need water. They don't need coconut water. They don't need mango juice. They got the prana. The rest of us, we're on wet batteries right now. And, there's a, and I've heard the transition from the wet to the, to the dry is essentially your water fasting. And then obviously the dry battery is no water, no food. And the, the bridge, now this is going to throw a lot, of y'all, a lot of y'all off, but the bridge is urine therapy. Weaning off the water and just going to urine. And then eventually weaning off the urine and then just being dry battery. But the urine, you loop the urine. This is called urine therapy. It's also known as Shivambu in Ayurvedic medicine. Anyways, y'all, the times of Noah. Let's stay focused. Jesus was saying the end times, the last days, when the, when the, when the, when the second coming is coming, when the second coming of Christ is coming down, which is why everything's happening right now, is because this Christ consciousness is coming in, y'all. Jesus Christ, the guru of gurus, he is shedding the light, bringing the light on all this darkness, and it starts from within. It starts inside of here. And it says, these last days, people are going to be having weddings, they're going to be partying, they're going to be having barbecues, they're going to be having fun, just kind of oblivious. That's like, yo, it's the last days. Like, it's the times of Noah. And like, just like in the times of Noah, they were oblivious. They had no idea a flood was coming. Even though Noah was like, yo, flood's coming, build your boat. Thought he was crazy. Just like how a lot of these people think these Christians are crazy. They're like, it's the end times. About to crash the economy. War, w- rumors of war, war and rumors of war. And then it goes on and on. And then what's after that? Well, you know what they had in the times of Noah? They had giants. They're called the Nephilim. Lucifer and a third of the angels. What was it, like 200 of them? Come down. They have sex with the women of earth. And they produce babies. Those babies are, become giants known as the Nephilim. God flooded the earth supposedly, to wipe out all these Nephilim, these giants, and their bodies died, but their spirit lived on, and those spirits are still here in this world. The word alien, it's a five-letter word, A-L-I-E-N. Well, what's the first letter? A. What's the second, third, and fourth letter? L-I-E. Put those two together. A, lie. What people call aliens are really just angels and demons. And they're coming back. Because it's the times of Noah. And you better be right with Jesus Christ. And the best piece of advice I can give you is having the authority of Jesus Christ. Being, knowing that you, can, that you can use it. It's in our arsenal along with putting on the full armor of God, shodding your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace, girding your loins with the belt of truth, putting on the breastplate of righteousness, picking up the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the wicked one, placing on your head the helmet of salvation, and in your right hand the sword of the spirit, the word of God, the om, the amen, the cosmic vibration of creation. All glory be to Christ. I'm going to do another video after this called The Authority of Jesus Christ. I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, It's important. Very important. For protection and for helping your friends and family. God bless all y'all.